Hey YouTube, and thanks for watching Junkworks Garage. Well, I couldn't resist and I bought some more. As some of you may or may not know, depending on if you've watched several of my videos, when I first was started filming in this garage, the only lights I had were up above where the piles of junk on top of my Mustang are. Um, I had three old fluorescent lights, and then I have a big one that is up there still over my loft area that I put up after that even. I went a lot of years with very not good light, um, even when I first started YouTube. And that's when I started really um, getting more and more lights, um, obviously, to film with and pretty much just brought lights wherever I needed them to film. Just um, like the drop lights. Uh, some of my first videos are of a drop light that I bought from Harbor Freight that was a fluorescent light. I don't even know if I still have that video up to be honest. I don't think it gets any views anymore so some of those videos I've taken down. But regardless, um, I started buying, I bought one LED light that really got me going on buying lights and buying more of them because they just really work well for filming. Um, so I'm going to show you that one. We'll go through the different Harbor Freight ones I've gotten, the different Amazon ones I've gotten, and show you my newest Harbor Freight ones that I've got. Um, so let's go check it out. The camera is going to dim it down so it, it's not near as bright as what it actually is. But there's my first one. I got that actually at Walmart. And at the time, it was the cheapest LED light I could find, including on Amazon or anywhere else. Don't remember how much it was. I have a video on it. Go check out my product and review playlist. Um, and I will uh, have a video on that somewhere in there. All right. So I can't remember if I bought a Harbor Freight, one of these, the, the hanging lights had the small chains. Um, I, I, I did a, what I called the underhood Harbor Freight underhood light or something like that. Uh, that's in my Harbor Freight playlist, so go check that out. But I actually put, um, if I can get to it here, magnets on these. So they stick. They stick up which this one is not sticking here very well because it's an aluminum ladder so I have one little spot where I can stick it up in here and it stays that's on a bracket but regardless uh, those work really well um, I can put those anywhere I want I got one right there I got one yet again over here that I can I just put a piece of metal here on my thing and I can put it on there and I have them all hooked up to the top of my lift here. I can move that wherever I want. It's on an accord I can bring out. Um, I just kind of put those everywhere I want. And I can't remember if I got those or if I got these ones here like this. I got these at Amazon. Yet again I have a video on these on my products and reviews uh, playlist. I might actually do an Amazon playlist because I have so many things I bought on Amazon as well. Um, I got several of those. They're all several up underneath here. Um, I have another one that actually ended up at my kid's place that I got at Costco that I have a video on. Uh, these ones right here, I got more going across up there all along the where my ceiling comes down here and where I first walk in at. So, right there. And you can see the cord. Right now, things are just messed up. But these link together. All these ones will link together. You can link four or five of those. I don't remember how many. It's in that video. But they link together. I got, there's the Harbor Freight one there yet again. Working on the Mustang. I actually am working on the Mustang regardless of what it looks like. You got a little glimpse of what I just bought. Um but those go there i got another one there and it actually links over to the the old costco one as well those all have regular plugs on them that link very easily which brings us to what's on the front of the mustang here 
these ones right here which are from Harbor Freight they are the brawn ones I don't know what the if these are brawn or what these ones were they still sell these and the difference is and I don't know I haven't even taken it out of the box yet but these ones link together so I'm gonna pull these out of the box we're gonna take a look at them um, I will probably put magnets on them so I can put them wherever I want but I'm not positive on that because I have an idea for these that was kind of my plan for these but because they didn't link together didn't work as well so let's see what happens either way you'll get to take a look at these out of the box and what I think of them It also has some instructions here. It's got some zip, little zip ties in here, so I have to look and see what all is what. So, except for the end pieces right here and here, it really looks a lot like the original ones I bought. So. All in all, like this looks similar, but you know, all a bit different. It looks like the this part of it's about the same, but this is a little bit smaller. This stuff kind of looks similar, but it's a little bit wider here. So the whole thing, all in all, and then the end pieces are where there's real big difference. Um, this part here, also, this is squared off. This is more rounded here. Um, so there's definitely some differences but uh for all in all they look about the same you'd be hard pressed really could tell if they were uh the same or not sitting up in a ceiling or something but i will say uh this one here the new one is about three or four inches shorter the actual light part of it this part's longer so if you put this end to end the whole thing is a little bit longer from end to end um than the old one but the actual light part is about four inches shorter than the old one um, it's got the same kind of chain but i i tend to cut these short in fact they have a, a piece here i'll just undo it right now so if i did it the wrong direction right there so i just use this small part right here because I can reach it. If you couldn't reach it, it comes with a pretty long extension here. But the main difference is right here. You can actually plug from one to another and link them together. So the old one as well will link into the new one, which I was hoping. This is going to work better than I thought, I'm hoping. I have taken one of these, and it's a magnet. And then I've taken off this part right here, which is just this uh, round ring and a little washer comes with it. And then right here in the new one, this is the new light, there are three holes. And that middle hole right there just so happens to be just perfect for the magnet here. Um, I was able to take the, the screw that came with it and screw down in there. Now, it feels pretty solid, but be careful. This is real thin. You could easily, and it's also aluminum, you could easily strip it out. But right now that feels really solid. And this is for what I'm about to do. Right now, I am underneath my car lift. And there is a C channel that comes this way. And this is the runway that you put your car on top of. There's actually a car above me right now. So, um, anyhow. But, when I'm not using it, I lift this all the way up and I work underneath it. Now I don't have any lights above it and I want to get more lights above it for lighting but I have found what I end up doing is taking taking my shop lights that I made 
and hooking them here. So the problem I'm having with this is not only does this kind of tilt a little bit because it, you know whenever I have this hooked up to it, the cord here, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a cord hooked to it. It tends to tilt it one way or the other. It's flopping in the air. And when I, if I was to bring this down for some reason, I have to remove all this because it's hanging down four or five inches below, well, three or four inches below the lift. So it would hit the ground. So in that aspect, this is working much, going to hopefully work much better because I was able to put those magnets directly on the back of this thing I'm hoping I can stick this wherever I want it I can go plug this in I have an extension cord that I can plug into this one we're gonna test and see if this one works oh there you go and Bob's your uncle so to speak it's right there then all I'm gonna have to do is take this, figure out a way to hook this up in here when I'm not using it, and unplug it, and I can lift my lift up and down as I please without having to move my lights around. And I can still shove these around quite a bit, but and they are they're solid, solid on there. I'm not worried about them falling off at all. Uh, this is one of those places where I say if you do anything I do and you mess up your equipment or your machine or hurt yourself, I am not responsible. If you don't like the way I'm doing something, don't do it. So now, I got that one up there. I put another one right there somewhere. Take this cord, and because they are plug-inable, or linkable, I should say, I should be able to plug this in and in theory, anyway, turn this one on, right here. Now on top of that, I have one more, which I'll show you why I only bought one more. This might be more tricky on the other side, though. Well, honesty time, my plan was to put another one of these right here and further down. Now, I think I could probably work it out further down. But with all these in here, once these tighten up, um, I thought even about putting it on one side or the other, but I kind of messed with it. And once these tighten up, they would go into this. And uh, it won't fit. I probably could actually fit one in the middle, except for right there. That big square thing will come this way as I lower it, I believe and crush it so it won't work there so although this isn't working exactly how i wanted i still get plenty of light underneath here on the ground more than i ever had before and i also realized that where these come out are perfectly lined up right there and i can plug this in and have these going across here yet again i can put these anywhere i can put them anywhere i want like that and they they come down but they're solid they're not they're not really going anywhere you'd have to really knock into them to make them go anywhere and then you know obviously unfortunately that doesn't make it so i can just plug in one extension cord and all my lights coming underneath here but regardless i'm going to go ahead and leave those ones there on that side that gives me a lot of light underneath here uh, believe it or not um, that i'm pretty happy with and yet again if i decide i'm not using them there as much as i thought i would i'll take these down and i can make them into whatever i want um, the whole point of spending the money on these ones rather than the other ones was the linkable aspect of them which kind of negates the third one i bought 
But on that aspect, these were on sale for like $17.99 or $17.69. I don't know, I'll have probably already put it in the video. If not, I'll put it in here. They were cheap and on sale. So these were actually cheaper than the original ones I bought for $19.99 that didn't have the linkable thing. And I will probably actually take the third one now that I know and uh, maybe use it down in my basement or something for uh, later on. Who knows? Uh, that's the great thing about this. I can do that and I can take it anywhere I want to, bring it back, and put it back there if I want to. That's the most awesome thing about something I'm going to say I came up with as far as these lights. And hopefully I don't just blind you everywhere, but my plan like I said, was to take these and put them over there, but that didn't work out. So, instead of that, I have taken the two that I could, and I got a plug in over there. So I took these self-adhesive things um, and went ahead, and this light is pretty well here unless I use something to disconnect these or cut these loose. Um, went across here, went across here. Now keep in mind, this whole thing lifts up and down with the lift. It's not hooked to the gray part. The gray part stands in one place, but this part here will lift up and down with the lift. So I attached it there, I attached it there, I attached it there. If you come up underneath here, I put one more here, or I went through the hole there. Another one, another one, and then we have the light right here. So, we're able to put the light right there, which also connects it to that one, which that was something I was curious about, in case you are. I can shut this light off, and that light still works. So, they are independently wired, so to speak, so that one's working down there. Which then, in regards, on the end of that, I plugged that one in that's above the motorcycle here. It's just got the magnets there and there. Which, then I plug this one in right here. To that one right there, which is my old one. Which no longer can have anything plugged into, so... Um, that's another thing about these is that I haven't read the books, but you're only supposed to plug so many in or link so many at a time because you don't want to overrun your panel, your electrical panel. So you'll have to read that, see what those are. Also the wires that hook these all together can only handle so much juice at a time going through or draw, I should say, say at a time on these so i wouldn't hook more than probably four maybe five together seems to be uh pretty norm but you'll you need to do your own research don't just go by what i said but regardless we have one two three and four lights and as you can see the ground below is pretty darn lit up um, so I shouldn't have any problems seeing under here. Unfortunately, that one and that one will have to leave the premises when I go to put the lift. Yet again, have a car on top of it. That's why I'm not bringing it up. But when I go to put the lift down on the ground. Um, but this one here and that one there can stay. At some point, I may mess with that over there some more with some different lighting or something like that. But right now... I'm okay with this type of lighting. On another note, as I was going to put this away, I was able just to unhook that from the middle there, uh, bring it through and stick it up there, and that puts enough tension on the cord from that one that nothing hangs down. So I'll be able to store all three of these lights here, and I'll have a lot of light in this area all the way down. So. Another, I guess, side note benefit and uh, store a way to store these things away so they can stay there until I need them for some reason or another. And uh, I can move that one and I can move that one wherever I want. This one here 
is kind of set where it is unless I cut it loose. So yet again, uh, I can just put them anywhere I want and that's the great thing about it. Um, also, the reason why I go with these lights here instead of maybe some cheaper ones from Amazon, because I have uh, other ones from Amazon that I showed you, which are dollar to dollar, I don't even think they're cheaper than these anymore if you can get these for 17 they're less than the 19.99 i paid for the other one so um at least as of when i bought them a few years ago who knows now if you can even get them but regardless go check out those videos i have uh playlists on everything from my shop video probably has those or shop playlist probably has them my Harbor Freight one definitely has the ones I did on the under hood lights that I made and more videos on these and how I use the magnets and stuff on them. I also have a products and reviews playlist that have probably all of these things on it and definitely the other lights that I did, both the Amazon ones, the Walmart one, and also a Costco one that I didn't have in this video. Um, along with a lot of other products, a lot of uh, different things. And then, yet again, my Harbor Freight one, all kinds of Harbor Freight things that I have done videos on. And back to the point, these things are just indestructible. I mean, virtually indestructible. You'll have to go, like I said, go check out my playlist. You'll see when I got these. been several years I've had these. And the first one that I put together, I believe on that underhood light one, finally died a little while back. And it's purely because I beat the ever. I literally have dropped it while standing on top of the lift above us, um, really high up in the air, and accidentally dropped it. And it still worked for a while. I used it in my, if you go check out more playlists, uh, my, I, I do a lot of DIY stuff. I put a place together for my mom, so you can look at my mom's place. Uh, playlist if you're into DIY homeowner fixing up places. Uh, I did my kids place and my mom's place. Got playlists on both of them. But regardless I drug that light around in there when I didn't have any lights at all in there and beat the crud out of it. Got paint all over it. Spilled things on it and it finally died here a little while back and actually it still works. It just it works for a while and then it'll just randomly shut off and when they start doing that you know I worry about fire so I, I quit using it. So get out there and get your junk working. Thanks for watching Junkworks Garage where I'm proud to say I'm a jack of all and master of none. You all have a good one.